And then finally, we are just placing the data that we've just discussed inside our email feedback div uh, span. Let's refresh and uh, test this out. So I'm going to go ahead and type A-L-E-X. Um, in fact, we can't really test its functionality until we've done something in email.php. And that's to pick up this variable and return it. So I'm going to create an if statement. I'm going to first of all check if the email variable that we've sent is set. So I've used if is set post email. Then I'm going to go ahead and echo dollar underscore post. In fact, let's just make this into a variable. So email equals dollar underscore post email. Now, uh, just a quick note, it's up to you whether you want to sanitize this data or not. If it's going into a database, then it's strongly or highly recommended you sanitize this data. And by that, I mean either use HTML entities if you know you're displaying it onto a page at further times. Uh, this will help prevent um, cross-site scripting attacks, so XSS attacks, or the MySQL real escape string function, uh, which will replace uh, specific special characters in order to help prevent SQL injection. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm neither putting my data into a database table, nor am I displaying it back to the user, so I'm not going to sanitize the, sanitize the data in this case. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and echo our email. So now our Ajax is sending the data. We're then retrieving the data here, and we're then echoing it back out. Now the echo will then be placed into this data variable, and then inside the email feedback span. So let's go ahead and test. So I'm going to type Alex, and you can see that it's returning everything I type. So Alex at phpacademy.org. It's constantly returning this value. Now the one thing to note is that I'm moving away and coming back, and it's still carrying out this um, validate email function. It's not, when we focus in, just showing go on enter a valid email address. So that's an important stage of it that we're calling the function at these two uh, key points where we need the validation to take place. Okay, so now let's go on to actually um, validating and then returning this value. So um, let's just get rid of that for now. Um, all I'm gonna do inside of this function is return data. Okay, so uh, this function will then equal the data that we get back from email.php. And inside here, we need to start actually validating the email address. So I'm going to create an if statement here. Um, I'm going to say if not empty email, we're going to go ahead and do something here. So the email address must contain some value. I'm then going to create uh, another if statement. And the condition for this, uh, we're going to use the filter var function. And the filter var function takes typically two parameters. We're only going to be giving it two. You can spec uh, specify additional par parameters, but we're not going to uh, be using them. Uh, filter var, we're validating this email address, and we need to say filter validate email. Now this function will either return true or false, so if it's equal to false, we know that uh, the e email address is not valid. So we're gonna echo that doesn't appear to be a valid email address. Otherwise, we should have a valid email or we will have a valid email. Let's just tidy them up. And then we can echo valid email address. Okay, so now we are passing this variable email. We are checking it using the filter var function against false first of all. Um, then we're just returning the appropriate error. Otherwise, we assume a valid email address. Now, at the moment, I've just returned this data. So this data will now either, either contain this value here or this value here. Now we need to actually display it. So we've returned the data, and you'll notice that nothing will actually display. You'll see that we, you know, we aren't, we aren't actually displaying anything inside of that um, inside of the span here. The reason for this is because we've only returned the data and we haven't actually echoed it out, or sorry, not echoed it out, applied it to this email feedback div. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a variable called result and that's going to equal validate email. Um, I'm going to do the same here as well for result equals validate email. Now this is a bit inefficient because we're, we're creating the same variable twice for each, well depending on each uh, event we choose. Um, we could define this as a um, as a variable elsewhere um, however just for now we're going to be keeping them as two separate um, variables